Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are brand new here, welcome. My name is Sasha, and in today's video, I'm going to do something I've never done before, and that is a PR unboxing. Now, I typically do these on Snapchat or Instagram, so if you guys follow me on there, you know that I'm sharing new products with you guys all the time, but I figured why not also show you guys here on YouTube um, what I typically get in the mail as a blogger and as a makeup artist. By the way, if you hear little clicking noises, I really apologize because my lens is broken right now and it keeps trying to focus. So that's what that little clicking noise is. So I do want to mention that there is going to be a giveaway in this video. So you definitely want to stick around. Don't go anywhere. Grab a snack, grab a drink, whatever it is. This video might be a really long one. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you're subscribed if you're not already and let's get to unboxing. All right, so I know which one I wanna start with because this eyeshadow palette has been super controversial. So much drama behind this freaking palette and it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. So if you guys have no idea what the heck I'm talking about, let me just get you guys up to speed here. So this palette had a lot of backlash from consumers and bloggers regarding the fallout of the shadows, specifically the matte eyeshadows. So there are videos out there on the internet with people reviewing this product and as they pick up the product, they're grinding and grinding the product out of the palette and it's literally crumbling down and falling out and people are freaking out about it. Well, Norvina did address that these shadows were soft pressed into the palette, which is why you're gonna get more fallout. And especially with matte eyeshadows just in general, you are gonna get more fallout than let's say a shimmer eyeshadow or like a more metallic glittery eyeshadow. They just don't hold together as well as other shadows. And this is what the palette looks like up close. So as you can see, a majority of the shadows are all matte eyeshadows except for two which is Adorn and Electric, but everything else is matte. And the colors in here are very, very unique. This is definitely not your everyday natural eyeshadow palette that you probably would reach for on a daily basis. The colors in here are very edgy, um, very unique, and colors that you don't really see in a lot of eyeshadow palettes. So for example, there's Destiny, which is an olive green. There's also All Star, which is like a really nice maroon color. So this is the brush that it came with, and I'm just gonna lightly tap a little bit of product on the brush, and I took the smallest amount. And look how pigmented it is when you first swipe it on, and that's just with a little tiny tap. So I think it's completely unnecessary to go in there and really grind the product because you really don't need that much on the brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch a few of these colors. All right, so here are the swatches. This is not all of them. These were just some of the ones that I thought were interesting to swatch. So these are all the shades and they picked up really well with my finger. But I haven't tried any of these shadows on my eyes, so I'm really interested to see how well it will blend, how it will wear throughout the day. So I'll definitely let you guys know my thoughts on that. But again, this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Subculture Palette. All right, so this next one here is from Beauty Blender, or as I sometimes like to say, Booty Blender. <laughs> um, but on the front it says 15 year anniversary celebration, and when you open it up, Ooh, everything is all pink everything. And it says introducing our latest blender swirl. And this is a limited edition pink marble blender. So this is what it looks like. And wow, it really does have marble design on it, but it's all pink. So it's really pretty. Okay, and in here you also get the blender cleanser solid, which I already have a few of these and I admit I haven't even tried them yet, so I need to try this out. It's probably better than what I've been doing, which is just using dish soap. But that's my favorite way to clean actually, is I just take the sponge, I put dish soap over it, I run it under water, squeeze that thing out, and everything comes out. So that's been working fine for me, but I feel like this is probably gonna get everything out, including all the little stains, because it's made specifically for the Beauty Blender, so I'm gonna have to give this a try and 
Also in here, most importantly, is a bunch of candy. Um, these are saltwater taffies. These are my, my favorite candy ever. Like, I can probably eat 10 of these in one sitting, but it comes with a bunch of them, and I don't know if this has dairy. It probably has, but I don't know if I can eat that. Again, these are the Beauty Blenders marble edition i don't think that's what it's called but these have the marble design and this was created for their 15 year anniversary celebration okay so let's see what we have here we grab another package there's a bag that says what makes you unique makes you beautiful and this is from oh Laura, is that laura mercier yeah that's laura mercier signature on the bottom here. So I'm gonna take, just making sure there isn't any more product in this box, but I guess everything is in here. And, ooh, oh my God, I'm gonna freak out if these are the caviar sticks, which I don't own. Oh yes, I do used to own some back in the day, but I don't think I have them anymore. Oh my God, yes. Caviar stick eye color. And I think all of these are, yep, all of these are caviar sticks. Okay, so if you guys have never heard of caviar sticks, what these are are basically like a hybrid between an eyeshadow and a liner, so you can use it as either one. So I'm really excited to have these because I want them in my kit. And I'm really into a more subtle eyeliner these days so I'm dying to get my hands on like a nice like brown or black that just looks really natural but this is what they look like they retract up and I'm gonna do a few swatches for you guys so you can see what they look like ooh this one is called Coco and I know I'm, oh my god how pretty is that it's like a really nice like deep brown and it has like very very little like shimmer specs to it so this is going to be the perfect eyeliner and i'm obsessed i'm throwing this in my kit are all swatched on my arm and these are so creamy and so pigmented and they kind of dry down which is nice because if you're using this as an eyeliner you don't want it to transfer but i'm super stoked to use these and um, i think these are great whether you want to use them for eyeshadow or if you want to use them as a liner, again, these are the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. All right, so next victim is going to be this really cool box. It's like holographic, is that the word? And it says UD Troublemaker. So this is from Urban Decay. And this is their new Troublemaker Mascara. When you open it, it says, hold on, focus here. There we go. So when you open it, it says super fat, super long, sex proof mascara. And this is the mascara here. So it's pretty heavy. It feels like glass. I don't know if it's actual glass, but it's definitely pretty heavy. And it has these little ridges going all the way down. So it has this really cool, um, design that kind of goes with a holographic theme. So this is what the mascara one looks like and just from first impressions I really like the shape of the brush because I'm not a huge fan of super thick mascara wands. Um, they may be good for some people but not for my kind of lashes so I really like a more defined um, brush and I like that this has like little spikes on it so that's really good for separating lashes. So it came with this little fact sheet here and on the back there's a bunch of information about the mascara. It says that there are two different types of black pigments in this formula to give a really intense blacker than your darkest thoughts kind of black. I like that. And it also has vitamin E to help nourish your lashes so that's really good. And this mascara retails for $24? Yes, $24 and it's gonna be available September 2017. Will be available from Sephora, Ulta Beauty, and Select Macy's stores. So again, this is the Urban Decay Troublemaker Mascara. All right, moving right along. Um, I think it's time for a giveaway. I don't know, what do you guys think? 
Nah, not yet, not yet. <laughs> I'm like teasing you guys. All right, so next package here is from one of my favorite brands ever, Becca Cosmetics. And in here we have, ooh, a bunch of lip products. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight new lip products from Becca Cosmetics. And I'm trying to find the little fact sheet that it came with because I'm gonna let you guys know what these are. Okay, so these are the Lush Lip Color Bombs and it comes in eight different shades and it combines everything you crave about a lip balm and everything you love about a lipstick. So I like the sound of that because it sounds like this is the perfect combination of a lip balm and a lipstick together. Um, and I've just been really into more hydrating and nourishing lipsticks these days. I'm really kind of over the liquid lipstick hype. All right, so here are some swatches. As you can see, they're pretty sheer, and it's definitely buildable. So if you layer it on, you'll definitely get a little bit more color, but if you kind of just swipe it on, it looks so natural and really nice. So I really like the feel of these. I haven't tried it on my lips, but so far, they feel really creamy, and I really like the shade selection. So I was fortunate enough to be invited to the launch party for these lipsticks here in New York City. So we all got to take home the entire collection, and on top of that, I am already on their PR list. So I was also sent this collection again. So I want to give this to one of you guys out there. And yeah, this is the giveaway. This is like the most exciting part of the video, right? You'll be getting this whole collection of the new Becca Lush Lip Color Bombs. All eight of them, every single one. And all you have to do is comment down below and let me know what your favorite lip product is. So it could be a lipstick, it could be a lip gloss, a lip liner. What is your go-to lip product? Um, so just let me know and you'll be automatically entered into the giveaway and then I will be messaging you and contacting you, letting you know you've won. But yep, you're getting all of this. You're welcome and good luck to everybody out there that's entering. Ooh, ooh. All right, so we have another package here and this is from, it has my name on it, it says Sasha Polina. And wow, this is from Laura Mercier again, thank you so much. And in here we have a fan brush, which I'm a fan of. I use fan brushes all the time for my highlight. And in here we have a few, um, ooh, face illuminator. Five, a total of five of the face illuminators. So I'm gonna go through them really quickly to show you guys what they look like. So I can't wait to play with this. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. Do you guys see this? This is the color Seduction and this is the face illuminator. All right, so I'm just gonna go through the rest of these colors really quickly because we're gonna be here all day if I talk about every single one. So again, this is the Face Illuminator. This one is in the shade Devotion. And next shade we have Addiction, which is a little bit more of a golden yellow, has more of a yellow undertone to it. This is the one that I feel like a lot of people have. It's called Indiscretion and it's just like a perfect champagne color. All right, so my next package here is from Erno Laszlo, and I'm really excited to get this because I love the brand already, and if you guys didn't know, Erno Laszlo has been around forever, and he was actually the dermatologist to very iconic people like Marilyn Monroe, Aubrey Hepburn, like he has just a list of celebrities that came to him for their skin concerns, and what he would do is kind of customize a routine specifically for their skin and for that person. So let's see what they sent me. So the first item is the Hydrotherapy Memory Sleep Mask. So on the front here it says that this is a memory sleep mask. And just some information here, it's very hydrating, it has a gel-like texture, it has lots of antioxidants. It also has collagen in it, so awesome product, has anti-aging benefits. So I'm excited to try this. It smells really nice. It smells really calming, like I don't know if it has lavender or something in it, but perfect for nighttime right before bed. 
So last but not least, my favorite product from Ernal Laszlo, which I already used, and it is the face masks. And there's two different ones here. So this one helps to exfoliate and detox, and this one helps to soothe and calm. So just depending on what state your skin is in, you'd want to do one or the other. Um, these are actually gel masks, so these are not like the paper masks. They're very luxurious and they fit so well into the face. Um, I'm not gonna open it up because once I open it, I have to use it. And I'm gonna save this for another time, but this is what the face masks look like. This is the exfoliate and detox, and this one is the sensitive skin. And I really love this face mask because I really see a difference right away after using it. I love using these to prep my client's skin, and I feel like it really does make a huge difference. You can see it right away, right after you use it. And once you apply your makeup, everything just looks more glowy and your skin is just smoother and just glowing. So I definitely recommend these. Since we're talking about skincare, I have another skincare package for you. And this is from Dermalogica. Here we have, oh, this is a pillowcase. And it has a face on it with red lipstick, lashes, liner. So cute. I like it. Here it says zero makeup, zero intuition, zero residue. Hmm. I wonder what this is about. Okay, so we have two products here. This is the pre cleanse balm, and this is a deep cleansing balm to oil that melts away impurities and makeup from skin. Okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit on the back of my hand. Actually, I'm gonna do some here because I do have makeup right here. So I'm gonna just apply a little bit of the balm. And I'm sure you're gonna need to activate this with water, which I don't have right now. So I'm just gonna rub it into the skin. Okay, so I'm just rubbing it into the skin. And I can definitely see the makeup coming off. I normally do like a double cleanse anyway, so sometimes I'll use one of my cleansing balms, something like this, to take off all of the makeup that I have, and that's just to take it off. And then afterwards, I'll go in with another cleanser to really strip away all of the dirt and makeup and everything just to make sure everything is off of my face. So I'm guessing that this is what the special cleansing gel is, so it's kind of a two-step process. All right, so next up we have another package here from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and this time it's a little bit heavier, so it's not just an eyeshadow palette. Woo! We have here all of the new matte lipsticks from her line. Wow, this is amazing. Let me show you guys up close. I love that it's rounded and it has the gold um, trim at the bottom, so I think that this is just really pretty, really feminine packaging. And I'm just gonna do a swatch of one of these colors. This one is called Staunch is the name, uh, but it's like a really pretty brown nude. And I'm just gonna do one swatch and see how pigmented, wow. It's not a brown nude, it's more of a pinky brown. But it's really pretty and it feels very creamy for a matte lipstick. It doesn't drag onto the skin. It just kind of glides really smoothly. So that is very impressive. All right, so I went ahead and swatched some of the shades here. There we go. And these are more of like the pinks and reds and more neutral shades, but there are definitely a lot of really fun shades in here as well, like Smoke, which is a gray. There's a couple of blue. There's Midnight, which is black and more of like brighter pinks. So I think what I'm gonna do is probably melt all of these lipsticks into probably two different palettes and use this in my kit because this is just the perfect lipstick collection. Like I said, it has everything. So I can't wait to actually put this in my kit. Thank you so much, Anastasia Beverly Hills. Again, this is the matte lipstick collection. All right guys, so that wraps up the end of this video. Thank you so much for sitting here and unboxing with me. It was definitely a lot of fun. It felt like Christmas, just going through all the boxes. So I hope you guys enjoyed it and saw some really cool products that you guys may wanna try. Um, let me know if you have any additional questions about any of these products and I'll do my best to answer them from what I know. 
Also, let me know if you guys enjoy these types of videos here on YouTube, and I'll do more of these unboxing PR haul videos in the future, and I'll always, always include a giveaway. As always, don't forget to subscribe if you guys are not yet a part of my YouTube family, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a like, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.